I'm live at Sweetest Thing Donut Shop and Bakery this morning. I'm donning an apron and they're putting me to work. I'm going to be showing you how they make their famous donuts and long johns coming up. I'm telling you what, this is a special treat in many more ways than one this morning. We are learning how a real bakery operates at Sweetest Thing Bakery and Donut Shop in Hannibal. I'm joined by one of the owners, Amanda Wisdom. She gets up, get this guys, we're not the only ones that get up at 1 and 2 in the morning. She's here every morning at 2 a.m. What do you start doing when you uh, come in at that early in the morning? Um, first I start off by turning on the fryers and the proofer, which helps the donuts rise, and then I start mixing the dough for the donuts because it has to rise for 35 minutes before we beat it out and let it rise again. Well, it, it's interesting. You guys make all of these ingredients. You you bake everything from dough every day. Everything is fresh whenever it hits the, the cases in the morning. Now, we are actually making donuts and long johns right now. What are you doing to get everything prepared? Um, well, usually I use that sheeter, but since it's really loud, I don't think I will. But first, you, you <laughs> kind of... Why not? Everybody's got to see what it's yeah? like. Yeah, okay. Well, you beat it, and then you roll it out so it's about this thick, and then you put it through the sheeter. Makes it all the same consistency. So basically, what does that do? That just makes all the dough the same, uh, the same depth. I guess you could say the same. Yeah, the same thickness. Yeah. Looks like. same thickness. So and now you cut it in half. Well, just for this one, we're gonna do half rings and half long johns. Okay. So we'll cut that in half. For long johns, you have to dock them. This puts holes in it all the way down to the wood table. So that's what puts the air in the long john to make it rise? Um, yeah, it, it kind of keeps it from getting air bubbles. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then you have to push pretty hard and just... That's how you make a long john. It's sort of like a giant cookie cutter, it looks like. Yeah, like a giant cookie cutter. And it's a lot easier than having just one at a time. Well, you're not kidding. We made six all in one roll. That's awesome. So you do the kind of the same thing with your donuts here. Mm -hmm. With the donut, well, with the ring donuts, we do the same thing. We'll put those on a rack and take to the fruit box. With these, we just do the same thing. You get donut holes and donuts like that. So makes it nice and makes it easy. Okay. So now that we've got them all cut out, what happens now? Got racks here. We've got all these uh, donuts that are ready to be fried to go to the fryer. But first, they have to go to a proofer. What's a proofer? The proof box helps the donuts rise. It has increased humidity and temperature, so it's kind of a way to cheat instead of waiting <laughs> hours for the dough to rise. Wonderful. Well, we're going to put these donuts in the proofer, and coming up in the next half hour, we're going to show you how they actually go to the fryer, and then what happens after the fryer. Of course, they have to get their beautiful touch here. Those ladies over there are actually icing the donuts. You can see them right there. They are having fun, and we are going to get you a special treat, in-depth look at how they make their cinnamon rolls and other special treats here at Sweetest Thing Bakery and Donut Shop in Hannibal. Back to you guys. Yeah, I'm going All right. to Hannibal. I'll see we you need later. That. <laughs> two long johns, a bag of donut holes. <laughs> Put it in our order. <laughs> wow. They are taking orders this morning. They've already got all their orders in. I will bring back a special box just for us. Yay. Chocolate Thanks, long Melissa. John, chocolate long John, chocolate long John. All right. Thanks, Melissa. Man, I'm so jealous of you today.